So listen, I would have gotten to this video a lot sooner, okay? But I just didn't have a ton of time over the past weekend to be able to play with the Joker DLC and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. It was my birthday over the past weekend. We also celebrated 12 years since I started this channel. You know, we had Easter in general, just spending some time with my family and friends. But you know, okay, now I've jumped in. I played through the Joker DLC. I've put a ton of hours into it. And I have some opinions. There are some positive ones, surprisingly, okay? But th there are definitely some negative ones that we're gonna get into. I gotta start off with the positive. I have to keep it real with you guys, okay? I really, at this point, I don't care what anybody says about me. But I have championed since day one, when this game came out, that the traversal is so much fun. The movement is fantastic. The gunplay is really solid. Overall gameplay, really, if we're just specifically talking about that and that alone is really damn good in Suicide Squad. And you know, I think that because there's so many negatives, there's so many things that we rightfully so criticize about this game. We overlook things like the gameplay that are pretty damn good. And the Joker is no exception to that, honestly. He has some really solid traversal. Now, it doesn't feel very much Joker, but it's still really fun. So he uses this umbrella. You can charge it up with L1 and then jump up really high, and it's got a fun animation to it. And then from there, you got a bunch of options. If you want, you can just Fortnite glide with the umbrella if you'd like, or you can then send it downward and you kind of just fly around with it. It sort of reminds me of what it would almost feel like if you were playing as Iceman in an X-Men game. And if you were creating these ice slides, maybe if Mr. Freeze is an upcoming DLC character, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, when you hit a rooftop that can allow you to reset your traversal ability. So then you can use more of those air bounces with the umbrella and then just keep yourself going from one end of the map to the other. It can get really addicting once you get the hang of it and chaining everything together, it's quite a bit of fun. Another big positive that I took from this DLC is you guys hitting the thumbs up button on this video. But also, okay, surprisingly, and, and I'll say this by prefacing that if we're looking at this entirely in a vacuum, the Joker performance here is not that bad. And that is, again, looking at this completely in a vacuum. To elaborate on that, essentially what I'm trying to say here is if we were to look at this Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League as not an Arkham game, if we were to look at this as an entirely different thing. The design, it looks like the Joker. It's got all the iconographies, the green hair, you know, the red lipstick and everything. He's got the smile going. And the voice acting's not that bad, honestly. JP Carlyke, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, is the voice of the Joker in this game. Also the voice of Morph in X-Men 97, a fantastic voice actor. And again, in a vacuum, does a solid job with the voice. The laugh is pretty good. There's this motion comic when you jump into the game for the first time with the Joker DLC where honestly the performance is solid what's a place like this doing in a guy like me well i'll pick your brain about it sometime ice pick <laughs> The problem arises when you don't think about this in a vacuum. When you think about the fact that this is an Arkhamverse game. When you think about the fact that, well, within the Arkhamverse, we have had one of the most iconic interpretations of the Joker with the voice of Mark Hamill. And then, you know, again, when you think about that design, whether it's from Arkham Asylum, City, even Arkham Knight, the way the Joker has looked through these games, for a lot of people, that's how the Joker should look. And when you square that up against this version of the Joker, I mean, it just doesn't even compare. So that's where you start to get comments like, oh, that's not the Joker, that's the John Clark, or whatever else people have said about this online. And under any other circumstance, I would say this is an unfair comparison to make, but this game takes place within the Arkhamverse and they're not not trying to hide that fact so yeah you can totally compare this version of joker to the one that we got from the arkham games and of course in every way shape and form the one from the arkham games is better and i mean how awesome would it have been to get that version of the joker from an else world playable in this game with the voice of mark hamill and then in some sort of fantasy world you know as well if we didn't end up having batman die in the main story how crazy cool would it have been to have mark hamill's joker from an else world interacting with an evil brainiac infected Batman. Just the dialogue that we could have gotten from that man. What a missed opportunity. But I don't want to talk or criticize this game based on what I wished could have happened. I want to talk about what is actually happening here. And this is where we got to get into some negatives. So the main one being story or severe lack thereof. We got a Suicide Squad Insider episode all the way back before this game was coming out, teeing up that we were getting the start of season one, the launch of a brand new character with the Joker 
in March. And during that insider, they were showing cutscenes. They were showing like bits of a narrative that we could have expected from this update. It felt like we were maybe going to be getting at the very least like a one hour DLC campaign with some cutscenes, with some dialogue, with overall just something narrative wise. And I was just, I was gobsmacked to learn that pretty much uh, spoilers, I guess, if you care, all of what they showed in that Suicide Squad Insider is pretty much all the cutscenes that you actually get. You have to play through a ton of missions to then rank up to level 35 in the actual episode one fear. And you do so by just playing through some of the incursion missions that are available in the fear episode or just whatever missions are available that are going to get you some XP. Then once you hit level 35, then you can go to the Brainiac boss fight, which is actually just the Green Lantern fight again. And then you unlock the Joker. And it, it's really it's just that fight green lantern brainiac whatever joker shows up you take him to the hall of justice the joker's on your team the end come on man there's like maybe like less than a crumb of just anything in regards to harley quinn and how she feels that there is the, the joker maybe there's like tiny bits of dialogue that i might have missed playing through some of the incursion missions i don't know but when it came to an actual cutscene, she has just like one line about how she's not into comedians anymore and that's it nothing about how this could affect her nothing in terms of how she might be feeling seeing the joker again maybe a different version yes but the joker nonetheless nothing about this joker being like oh my goodness what was wrong with that other version of me just just nothing i, I just I, I don't know i just couldn't i couldn't believe it and yeah i'll be honest i was very thoroughly disappointed at the lack of narrative i just thought that there was going to be something in terms of story here and that's when i was really starting to get invested when i actually saw that there were cutscenes of any kind when i beat brainiac and i got to see joker reveal himself i was like oh wait i'm getting kind of into this and you know what i'll be honest that brainiac fight wasn't all that bad the green lantern boss battle is one of my favorites in the game it's one of the only ones that are kind of good in the game and i feel like they built upon it in a solid way they did some things to you know shake things up so it's not a complete rehash of the green lantern fight from the base game unlike what they did in the base game with the flash and then yeah again taking him to the hall of justice i was like okay we're getting a cutscene. we're getting just something you know there's a little bit here maybe we're gonna get a little bit more and no no that's all that's literally all it also didn't really help that much that the only cutscene in this dlc see where I actually get to see my customized version of Joker on screen was glitched. He was invisible through the entire thing. This is just, oh my God. I, I, I don't know, man. Don't even get me started too on the fact that they actually make it so that you can purchase the Joker for $10. He is free to unlock. If you get your episode rank to 35, then you can jump into the Brainiac fight and you will unlock the character. But it's almost like it's designed in a way to make it so tedious, to make it such a slow burn that you just go, oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll just spend the $10 so that I can get my hands on the character right away. My recommendation for you guys, if you have a character that is like maxed out, fully leveled, there is an incursion mission that's called like imposter syndrome. There's one spot that you'll go to where you can just kill a ton of enemies in a really short amount of time and it'll level you up every single time. Realistically, you could get to level 35 in like straight up under an hour. But even then, that's through doing the same mission over and over and over and over again with no narrative with no dialogue that keeps you interested that keeps you invested no storyline that you're jumping into here that has you wondering where it's going to go next just you know random incursion missions where you just kill waves upon waves of enemies and the next thing you know you fight green lantern brainiac and you get the joker on your team and from there the story is done at least for episode one the story is done i don't know if there's going to be more story in episode two and even then if it's going to be anything like it was in this first episode it's not going to be all that much and you know on that roadmap they promised that there's going to be new strongholds there's going to be new missions to play through well they're just the same missions you've already played now in an environment that isn't actually different but just reskin. If you play through some of these incursion missions, a lot of the places that you go, you might recognize. And that's because it's the places that you go during the incursion missions in the base game, but now with Joker stuff. This is just not what you want 
from a live service, man. This is just not what should be delivered for a live service game. And it really, really bums me out again because I know some of the people at Rock City. I met some of them. I know how passionate they are. I know how hardworking they are. It's just maybe they've bitten off a bit more than they can chew with this project. Maybe they're just too ambitious. There's just too many ideas that they couldn't execute on. I know game development is extremely hard and they know that there's probably so many things that they've thrown at the wall that they just can't do. Things that are probably amazing ideas that we maybe would have loved, but just considering game development, considering how this stuff works, it just would be impossible. But I don't know, the alternative has just been a game that has put such a sour taste in so many people's mouths. And you know, I mentioned earlier that well when you're playing the joker nothing about his gameplay his traversal or anything like that inherently feels like oh this is the joker so it really makes me think about well what if this was an original ip what if these were all new characters an entirely new world if we just didn't have to carry the weight of the arkham franchise on this game's shoulders would people feel a lot better about it would people have a lot nicer things to say when it comes to the gunplay the traversal the gameplay overall i think maybe rock said he really would have benefited and just starting from scratch and just trying something new not even necessarily being in the dc universe but just something that wasn't connected to arkham the battle pass as well just doesn't have anything in there where i'm like super excited to just race through and unlock not to mention just a special Battering of bugs and glitches and issues that people have been running into with this update even myself to try and jump back in and play and record some footage for you guys to just experience this joker dlc my goodness it was next to impossible it was like they didn't want me to play it i was getting stuck at the main menu i literally couldn't get into the game and i had to fully uninstall it and then reinstall it in order to finally be able to jump back in but i've seen some other people run into a ton of different issues i've heard the pc performance has gotten a lot worse with the latest update as well it's just not looking good for the future of suicide squad kill the justice league and again i can't help but repeat myself in saying that that just bums me out i really wanted this game to be great i had a lot of faith in rocksteady just because of the fact that they have made so many incredible games in the past but they have really missed the mark with this one and i hope that going forward they go back to single player games maybe even make another arkham game make that superman game that everybody has wanted i just don't think this live service venture has worked out for rocksteady but of course you know we're still going to be covering it here on this channel i'm going to make sure to keep you guys up to date on the future of suicide squad kill the justice league whether we're going to be getting the rest of the seasons or not i will make sure to keep you guys informed make sure you're subscribed make sure you got those notifications on and with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below try to keep it civil you know let's have like a normal bit of discourse here let's not turn into rabid animals okay in the comment section i've been caboose i'll see you guys later